The samurai featured in The Conjuring, The Conjuring 2 and Annabelle Comes Home has been one of the hardest items to do research on, but finally after days of investigating, we're able to tell you everything that I found out about it. Just a quick FYI, did you know that the director and producer James Wan, who worked on many of the Conjuring films, had mentioned that the Samurai and Bride from Warren's Occult Museum may even get their own spin-off movies? Now let's dive deep into the Samurai's backstory. The Samurai armor dates back to the time period in Japan, named Feudal Japan. The Feudal Japan era lasted throughout the Kamakura period of 1185 to 1333 the Muromachi period from 1333 to 1568, and the Azuchi Momoyama period of 1568 to 1600. This time period was where the age of the warrior was uprising, and many of the local samurais were being formed. They were so loyal that it has been documented that with any disloyalty, defeat, or anything that brought shame to their name could be considered an offense worth taking your own life on, with your own sword. During this time though, there was one samurai that wasn't so loyal. One that this culture didn't work for him, and he wanted to seek out his anger. Not much is known or documented as to why this anger arrived, but one thing that is known is his cruelty reached no limits. The samurai wearing the outfit that you can see right now snuck out of the military that he was training in. He walked to the nearest town he could find, and with his sword he murdered the women and children that he came across. Anyone he saw, he would stab or slice, with nothing but the sounds of their screaming and pleading to be heard in the town that was once peaceful. The research doesn't state that if he took his own life or was killed by the military that he snuck away from, but one thing that it does state is that it is believed that the spirits of the innocent that he butchered to death had latched onto the armor that he wore. It is believed that the armor itself holds that same evil energy that had controlled the warrior to commit unspeakable acts and that if you are alone with the samurai suit, you can sometimes hear, if you listen very carefully, the screams of the innocent women and children that he ruthlessly murdered. We've made many other videos about the items from The Conjuring at the Warren's Occult Museum, so make sure to check them out as well if you like this, and also our other videos if you enjoy stuff about horror. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with notifications on if you enjoyed this video. Until next time horror lovers, peace.